Hi everyone, my name is Pranav Bhagat and I am a senior developer advocate here at ServiceNow. In this video, I am going to talk about Now Assist for IT Service Management or simply ITSM. So before I jump into Now Assist for ITSM, let me talk about what is Now Assist. So Now Assist is ServiceNow's generative AI powered solution that extends ServiceNow application and provide them with built-in generative AI capability. Now question comes up, why we have Now Assist for ITSM? So ServiceNow's Now Assist for ITSM reduces an organization's dependency on the manual processes and help them streamline and optimize the whole IT process. That means better self-service experience for the requesters and improved agent productivity. Now I mentioned two main personas. One is the requester and one is the agent. So using a demo, I'll show you how Nowsys help each persona. Let's switch to the demo now. All right, so while I'm doing my day-to-day -day job, I sometimes face issues like I'm not able to connect to a VPN or I want to simply request an item or a hardware. So the first thing that I do is like, I go to the employee service center. Now, as I mentioned, like, I have a question like how to configure a VPN for my Apple devices. Let me search it. So you can see on the screen, now Assist gave us a info, gave us a snippet of information that saved me some time and, and an extra click. And based on my experience in the past, this extra click can sometimes be the difference between a resolution and creating of an incident. All right, let's order something now. So I want to access the Miro software. So let me ask virtual agent for it. I need access to the Miro software. So you can see now it has connected me to the right catalog item. So let's order it. And yeah, I want to proceed. I need it for my day to day job. Let's submit it. Uh, I don't want any attachment. All right, my request is submitted. So there is one thing I like to point out is that there was no topic that was created in the backend to support it. With the now assist, the virtual agent has taken all the catalog item and knowledge article and make them conversational for our end user. Now let's take another example. In simple, I'm unable to join a Zoom meeting. So let's ask virtual agent for it. And let me just do, I'm unable to join a Zoom meeting. And I see bunch of catalog items that are there. Uh, but in this case, I'll probably need to talk to someone. So I'll just simply ask, connect me to an agent. All right, now let's switch our view to Martha, who is our agent. All right, now we, in the, we are in the Martha's view and you can see that we have received a new chat. Firstly, you can see that the chat is already summarized for Martha by Now Assist. So let's start the chat now. So you can see, you can notice this sparkle icon, right? So when I click on it, we can use the reply recommendation from Now Assist to generate a response or elaborate or shorten a response as per our need. So you can see that we are able to generate it. I can either elaborate it or I can shorten it. I think I should just shorten it up. And yeah, this looks good. Let me add it. So now I'll keep the chat going and speed things up for you. 20 minutes later. So now after talking to me, Martha felt like that this thing requires an incident to be created. So Martha clicks on create an incident button and you can see that the short description as well as the description are populated based on the chat conversation that we had. And uh, now Martha will be reassigning this incident to Able Tutor, who is an expert in solving these kind of issues. Let's quickly reassign it to Able Tutor. Now you can see another cool thing. The work notes are automatically populated using the Now Assist and it will save Martha a lot of time. 
so let's assign it to able tutor who is an expert in it let's save it all right now let's switch our view to able tutor now able is an expert in solving these kind of issues but before solving it able is equipped with recommendations from task intelligence which will instantly inform him of any similar resolved incident that happened in the past so able notices that a similar incident was re resolved by a change request but there was no resolution notes present in the change request so he reaches out to the change request manager hannah and gave her the change request number via the chat to ask her what is the resolution so now let's switch to the hannah view who is our change manager and see what she does now hannah finds the change request and instead of going through the whole chain she uses change request summarization to summarize the change and now once she gets a summary of the change she gives it to able tutor via the chat now let's switch back to able tutor all right now able receives the chat from hana so he just uses summarization to summarize the whole chat all right so the whole chat is now summarized so after looking into the summarization able figured out this is the issue with the updation of the app so the app needs to be updated so he just copies the whole thing and saves into the incident work note now able also adds an additional comment informing the requester that uh, it's the issue with the app the app needs to be updated now able resolves the incident so now you can see that the resolution notes are automatically populated using the now assist so let's resolve it so able now thinks about creating a knowledge article for a, for this incident so that this type of issue can be resolved by the requested themselves in the future and now you can generate the whole knowledge article using now assist let's draft it all right let's save it publish it and that's it for the demo all right that's the power of now assist and we have covered a lot today so let me quickly give you a recap so we started off with the virtual agent which is equipped with the now assist features so if you remember the virtual agent ingested all the catalog item and knowledge article and make them conversational for our end users then we saw the snippets that were provided by now assist in the search then we switched to the agent persona for agents we have the chat summarization that was there we have incident summarization chain summarization we also have like the resolution note code generation and finally we saw how we can generate a knowledge article using now assist so in the end i'm going to repeat what i said in the starting service now's now assist for itsm reduces an organization's dependency on the manual processes which helps them streamline and optimize their it processes and it's a win win for the employees or the requesters they get a better self service experience and for the agent they get improved productivity and that's all i have for you today i hope you like the video if you want similar videos like this make sure you add a comment and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time bye bye